Previously on The Potentialists. We want to teach people in these episodes. Boa World is a lifestyle. Boa World started as a vision of Bert. He wanted to help change the lives of 100 million people. Bang, bang. All we do is either family time or seminars. I'm living my passion and I want to do that till the day I die. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. All right, brief bio. Um, let's see, I'm 20 year old, so I doesn't go back that far. What happened in my life that I can talk about? <laughs> Baby, I do the computer stuff. Nobody wants to do it. Anybody else can do it. All you have to do is Google. My phone has been keeping track of where I go. It even says, how do I spend my time? And countries visited. That's creepy. If anybody happens to actually know how to delete this, let me know. But for whatever reason, I'm stuck doing it. It sucks. I am an introvert. I like to be behind a computer, behind everything, and I don't ever need the spotlight. That's why I like computers. That's why I like technical things. I'm behind something. Why am I in front of the camera right now? I am one of the most sheltered people you will ever freaking meet. I spent 13 years of my life going to parochial school, one of which was an all-girl high school. The Boa family has helped me break out of my shell. Little by little, they're pushing me to have much more experiences. <laughs> God, they have a lot of patience to deal with me because I can be a pain in the ass. No, a no, bitch? No. <laughs> I was gonna say that, yeah. Yeah, a little bitch, a little yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. My name's Eric. I am a reluctant Texan. If you go to Texas though, the good thing is you can flash your Texas Pride card if you're not from Texas. You're not a real Texan. I grew up in Florida. I make up the 0.01% of the white people that live in Miami. Alexa calls me her evil twin because we have a bit of a irreverent sense of humor. I'm usually playing roller hockey. I play goalie. People think I think that's strange that I would want to stand between a disc that flies like at 70, 80 miles an hour and try and block this thing. What it is I love about it is that you get to be the guy that is the one you have to depend on no matter what. You get to be at the end of the day the hero or the ghost. So it's that pressure to perform that drives me and makes me want to push myself further. According to BOA, I'm extremely confused. They don't think I'm gay, which is interesting because I don't know how to prove to them that I am. So. <laughs> So I'm currently taking applicants, whoever's willing to step into line. Step up, take one for the team. My name is Miles Oliva. My name's Sabrina. <laughs> I'm Dylan Oliva. What's up, my name is Roger. I am Bert Oliva. Sorry. I like to be adventurous. I like to go off-roading. I like to ride my motorcycle and hang out with my family. Oh! I. I love my brother and sister, even though we have our moments. I don't really like the camera that much. I'm not shy, I just don't like it. I don't like the camera. But then, at the same time, I wanted to be an actress. <laughs> but I'm shy. I don't know, my mom tells me that I should become a journalist because I like to talk. What I thought was cool is I saw in a movie, it's called like a, a AMT, AMT, EMT. I don't know, like it's whenever somebody needs help, you like get out of bed, you go, you help them, you save them, whatever. But then at the same time, like what if somebody dies on the spot? Like, no, can't handle that. <laughs> Roger is my boyfriend and we've been going out for a year and nine months. Wait, what? He's funny, but he used to be funnier. This is a baby common marmoset. And I saw the marm first. Marmosets! Marmoset! Marmosets! <laughs> That's my baby. Listen, I am Surge. Big Papa to all of you out there. And I'm Cuban. Madness. Daddy got a hold of mommy, injected, and all of a sudden I came out. So that's what you got. It's great to be Cuban because you can go late anywhere you want and get away with it. You can be loud. <laughs> 
get away with it. You can whistle at girls, pinch their butts, do whatever you want. That's great! And get away with it. Guess what? It's pretty cool to be Cuban. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?